Hi there, my name is Debo Swede and this is my SolidWorks Premium 2016 tutorial and today we're going to be handling the design of the Torospherical Vessel Head as per ASMA Boiler and Pressure Vessel Code ASMA 8 to be exact so we'll start by new then go into a new part sketch top plane then we're going to have to start with a line and a picture length to we'll handle that later then tangent arc ok it's, I mean, it's not the one we want we want to do yes do this this I'll take from this again up to this point then we stop okay then we design the dimensions in this case we're designing a tertiary head with diameter one meters and knuckle radius that's this one over here skips into the diameter and current radius is equal to the diameter so this is the internal radius so we put 0 0.5 since the diameter is 1 meter 0 0.5 meters fine then the knuckle radius is 6% of the internal diameter of 1 meter in 0 0.06 good and the crown radius is equal to the internal diameter now all this is as per as my 8 boiler and pressure vessel code for designing the torus spherical vessel head okay got all our dimensions down now we need to do some additional tweaking first thing we do is we make here and here this three dimension out need to delete the um, uncheck the dimension box or you won't be able to use your constraints here here and here make them all horizontal looking good and now this center point you need to trap these three center points here here and here make them vertical good let's see how it's looking so far so good this is what we need everything is all fully constrained i can delete this yes okay it's loss is constrained but you can fix it not a big problem here we go again this this and this all vertical this this and this no this, this, and this, all horizontal. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Then the final dimension would be this distance. I hope so. <laughs> Small dimension. Yes. Yes. And I'm right. That's the final dimension. So what's next? We draw our center line. The line we will use to, or construction line, the line we, we will revolve about. So, now we go to features, revolved base. Now it's saying the sketch is currently open. A non thing revolution features requires a closed sketch. Would you like to sketch? The sketch will be automatically closed. Yes, because we are done with the sketch. We want to revolve the sketch. Let's see what we get. Okay. Line two is a is a axis of revolution. I want a thin feature. Then our contour. I want this. What? Wait. There's a problem somewhere. The problem is not giving us the required dimensions we want, so just wait. I'll solve the problem now. Okay, now uh, I've solved the problem. The issue is that uh, 
it didn't respond to a construction line so I'm going to use a normal line as my center line here so exit then we go to revolved bus base the axis revolution is it be, will be this line we just drew then it's selected contour will be this as you can see it is created a, a shape of the third circle because I had one to draw so we set the thickness in this case the thickness is uh, 23 millimeters click OK you have to be sure that it's, go it's going out or in remove the thickness and then um, yes it's going out which is as we want to design it how do you know it's going out you can see here this is where our sketch is terminated and it's 23 millimeters from this point to this point so we click OK and we have our revolved torch check of your head. Now tune in to the next video to see how to perform a stress analysis based on internal pressure of the torch check of your head. Thank you very much for watching.